The J.J. Thompson experiment uses the circular motion of electrons accelerated across a voltage in a known magnetic field to determine the charge to mass ratio of electrons. Special care must be taken when measuring the diameter of this circular motion because the configuration of the apparatus can lead to large parallax errors. This animation shows a simplified view of the apparatus. The yellow loops are carefully spaced Helmholtz coils which produce the fairly uniform magnetic field. The curved electron beam is shown in blue within the partially evacuated spherical glass tube. A scale is attached to the back coil which has two important parts. The calibration lines, shown here as white with black lines marking position, and a mirror just above the scale in which part of the electron beam can be seen in reflection. The size of the loop is affected by the magnetic field strength, which is controlled by setting the electric current in the coils, and the speed of the electrons, which is controlled by the accelerating voltage applied to the tube. A proper measurement of the beam diameter is done in three stages. First, adjust the position of the mirrored scale so that it goes across the center of the circular trajectory when viewed head on. The scale should go across the horizontal diagonal. Second, using only one eye, Carefully align your viewpoint so that the left side of the circular beam overlaps its reflection. Then you can take the reading of the apparent position of the left side of the circle on the scale. Third, again using only one eye, carefully align your viewpoint so that the right side of the circular beam overlaps its reflection. Now take the reading of the apparent position of the right side of the circle on the scale. The diameter of the beam is the difference between these two positions. We can double check the left position and double check the right. When viewed from the top, we can see that this technique ensures that the distance between the two points on the scale are the same as the distance between the sides of the circular trajectory.